time now for Top That. There are too many news stories out there, so we made a segment to decide what the strangest story of the day is. Our panelists tonight are two of my co-hosts, distinguished gentlemen, both of them, the five, Jesse Waters and Greg Gutfeld, who both have big plans for their own shows this weekend. They join us now. Greg, we're going to start with you. Oh, thank you, Gentlemen Tucker. first. All right. I'm going to, uh, this is a story close to my heart. Facebook reports from their Facebook artificial intelligence lab that chatbots, which are computer programs, have developed their own internal language. That means these programs are speaking a language that's divergent from human language. They are plotting to kill us, America. They, uh, this is the first step towards super intelligence through singularity, non-conscious thinking. They are going to turn us into barnyard animals, Jesse. This is important. Well, this is one of the things that we're ignoring, that once we reach singularity, once they become so much smarter than us, they will turn us into their slaves. I won't mind this, though, because I... You, you like being a slave? Uh, to, to a robot, <laughs> to a robot? Would, Because robots eliminate emotion. I want a robot judge, I want a <laughs> robot doctor, and I want a robot president, because they don't make any mistakes, because they're down emotional Here's something I thought that was interesting about this, is that these robots apparently use strategies like feigning interest right. in an issue, that, so that then they can concede on it later, and it makes them look like they've compromised. You know what? They'd be a great pundit. Because that's what we do all the time, Tucker. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, yeah, well. Wow. Look over here. Look at my head. I'm, I'm trying to work on my astonished Lutheran no, look. No, this is what you do. This is, this is Tucker. That's good. That's really good. good. Like, Tucker does this. Huh, I'm, try, I'm working on that. Now, Jesse, yes. can you top that? Obviously, I can. Um, all right, so there's a woman from San Francisco. Her name is Nisha, and she has a baby named Raven. And she asked the baby's permission, six months old, to pick the baby up, okay? Because she doesn't want the baby to become a sexual predator. She writes this, we want him to know that his body is his and that others' bodies are theirs and no one gets to make choices about someone else's body. Hashtag lessons in sovereignty. Hashtag born free. Hashtag end rape culture. Okay, so this is what she does. She can't speak to the baby because the baby can't speak. It's a six-month-old <laughs> baby. But she says she can read the baby's body language. And Yahoo News interviewed a mom expert, and the mom expert says this is good parenting. Well, I was, actually, that was surprising to me, that if you look at the comments, apparently she got lots of praise that people think this is normal. Did you run it by your wife, who is also a mother? <laughs> um, no, I have not run this by my wife. I don't think this is anything anybody should be doing. But uh, I don't want to get in trouble and, you know, make any baby upset or any mother upset. Okay, well, let me think so about that. While that I think about who won this contest. Well, it's clear, so, wait, wait, wait. It's clear I won because robots would never do that. Robots don't, you don't have, that's that's robots, well, how you, you just judge said the that, competition. You just said that robots have created a language, so maybe they could actually communicate with a six-month-old baby. When, look, wait a second. I want to win because when robots take over the world, I'm going to be their Benedict Arnold. I'm going to turn in all the humans. I want them on my side. My story is about babies. Babies. Come on, Dana. Uh, uh, Jesse, family. you know that if you're going to win with me, it's a dog story. Oh, so, like, I you know, know, yeah. I no, you story. haven't lost yet uh, because I have a little bit of time. Tell me what's on your shows this weekend. Uh, I have a, oh, man, it's crazy. I got Walter Kern, that amazing writer, yep. Dave, Dave Rubin from the Rubin Report. And it is, it's all about basically political incorrectness. Uh, and it's, uh, it's going to be a blast. Trust me. And what about, you, what about you? Are you revealing what your little secret trip was last night? Yes, I went to Shakespeare in the Park where they assassinated the Trump lookalike, and I interviewed people afterwards, and you're going to see a lot of very shocking responses, a lot of reviews, and I'm going to be there, and Greg, I think I'm going to top that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay, so now I have to decide? Yes. I'm a little nervous since I have to sit next in, in between you. This will be you know? mm. We'll be on the five. I try to be nice to everybody. In ten minutes. And if you don't pick me, it's over. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Greg. Oh come on! <laughs> no, it's because you guys are friends already. Robots. You know?